Two film festivals in two cities say a lot about one China. In Taipei, the Golden Horse Festival has for years been the showcase for Chinese language film, with entries from mainland China as well as Taiwan. But this year, China's government in Beijing banned its country's filmmakers from taking part. Instead, they encouraged another film festival held across the Taiwan Strait. The Golden Rooster in Shaiman on the Chinese mainland was held at exactly the same time. Beijing snubbed this year's Golden Horse after a winner at last year's festival used her speech to call for countries to recognize Taiwanese independence. Taiwanese filmmakers and fans are disappointed, but pragmatic. In spite of China's boycott, movies from any part of the world would continue to shine at the film festival. They are not only hurting the, the viewer here to take away their chance to view these films, they are also taking away opportunities for those artists, especially Chinese artists, for their work to be seen in the, in the international platform. But Beijing imposed the ban to make a point. Taiwan is and always will be part of China. It considers the island a breakaway province that will one day come back to the fold. It's known as the One China policy. Beijing expects other countries to respect it. Anything or any one that threatens the narrative is dangerous. Many in the industries are not happy to see that countries are using political influence to strangle the freedom of their filmmakers to participate in any international film festival. Encouraged by a pro-independence president likely to be re-elected early next year, people in Taiwan are becoming increasingly assertive towards Beijing. One young comedian has become a TV star largely through mocking China and President Xi Jinping. <laughs> but Beijing is pushing back. Two Pacific Island nations, Kiribati and the Solomon Islands, have become the latest to switch diplomatic allegiance from Taiwan to China. Both countries are receiving significant financial investment from Beijing. And Beijing has threatened sanctions against any U.S. company involved in recently announced arms sales to Taiwan. In the big picture, a snub of one film festival and the creation of another might not seem significant moves. But cultural pressure is still pressure, a way Beijing hopes to steer Taiwan home. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Beijing.